Good day, fellow noobs. Today, you're going to learn uh, what you can do if you need a round robin assignment or a rotating list in Power Query. So, one use of a round robin assignment is in case uh, you want to distribute tasks evenly. So, as an example, let's say you have 10 employees and every day you get an inflow of tickets to process and you want to assign those tickets to your team evenly you can do something like this in Power Query okay first uh, so prepare your list of employees like this so here I have listed 10 and then you'll have to convert that to a table and now with Power Query you can just click on the data tab and click uh, from table and range it will convert it directly to a table so let's put it as it having table headers and then it's going to go to the Power Query Editor. Let's type, this, let's type this in as our employee list. Employee list. Okay. Now since it's already on the worksheet, let's just load it as a connection. Alright. So next would be you have to pull in your tickets. Now, I prepared a sample data for here. So let's say I'm getting the tickets for March 11. So I'm going to import that. And we're going to get the set of tickets. It's going to look like this. Uh, all right. So I'm going to click on Transform Data. for a round robin assignment we would want the tickets to be distributed to our employees so it's going to be assigned to one employee evenly since this is our this is our tickets that I'm going to rename this to tickets and so from here uh, we're going to expand the navigator we're going to go to the employee list first and so I'm gonna reference this. I'm gonna right click and reference. I'm gonna click on transform and then I want to count rows, which is gonna be this count rows. And I'm just gonna change this to list count. So we need the variable for later. I'm gonna go back to our employee list and we have to add a column for an index index column. So this is important, it has to start with 1. So index column from 1. Okay, so now this is our index. Now with our tickets, we also need to put in an index column from 1. So I'm going to click on from 1. So this is now our index. Then we need to add a modulo, which is, it, which is this one. So we're, we're going to click on Modulo. This is where we have to put in the list count that we made earlier, but uh, at the start, it's, it does not accept uh, a type function like this one. So you have to enter a temporary number. So for example, I'm going to put in 10, but we're going to change the M code here. So I'm going to change the 10. I'm going to put in list count, which is now, this is now referencing uh, this one. And we're going to press on enter. OK. So if you can see the modulo column that was created, it cycles to from 1 to 9. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, our employee list cycles from 1 to 10 so we have to make it cycle through 1 to 10 also now from here we're gonna add a plus 1 plus 1 just so it goes through 1 to 10 okay all right so from now from here we can merge the employee list and that's what we're gonna do click on merge queries and then click on 
or do low and then employee list I'm gonna click on the index and I'm gonna click on OK and we're gonna click on the expand here and we'll remove the original column name and the index we just want the, to get the employees alright so this is now the new column that was assigned let's change this to assigned then from there we can remove the other columns we can remove the all right so in case you want to sort it back to the original uh, sorting okay click on index and click on sort ascending you can skip that step but and so I'm gonna re remove these columns right click and remove and then for this one we can load it now to our worksheet here and I'm gonna cl click on table and all right oops so the ticket was loaded here you know what let's load the ticket to the sheet let's transfer this so you can see it better now the tickets are here As you can see now the tickets are cycled through our employees here if you want to see if it's evenly distributed we're gonna put in a pivot table and let's put in it the rows and the tickets here as a count Alright, so it says here that there are everyone has ten tickets. Now let's say you have a new employees. Let's say you have new joiners. Uh, let's say you have Calvin. Then you get Hobbs. And just an example, is if you're using the same ticket data, let's just click on refresh. Calvin and Hobbs are going to be here and if I click on refresh here they're now uh, distributed also except now we have some employees having nine and some having eight but you get the idea okay now let's say we get some new employees let's say we have some levers let's, so let's remove for example Hans and Juliet Let's put in Grace and Fernando here. So I'm going to remove these table rows. And let's say we get new data for the next day. Let's change our employee, our ticket source. So I'm going to go to source. I'm going to click on here. Let's say it changed to March 12th. We're gonna click on OK. Gonna click close and load. So it still cycles through with our remaining employees. If we refresh the pivot, it's still gonna be distributed equally, like this. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, type it in below. Uh, thank you and uh, good night.